We know that older patients are at high risk in the month after hospitalization. Up to one in five either is re-hospitalized or dies within one month of hospital discharge. What we don't know is how patients' risk changes in a very dynamic way on a day-by-day -day basis for that initial month after hospitalization and for an extended period of time for one whole year after hospital discharge. To answer these questions, we examined more than three million older Medicare patients hospitalized with three very common medical conditions, heart failure, heart attacks, and pneumonia. And we followed them for one full year after hospital discharge. First, the risk of hospital readmission and death is most elevated just after hospital discharge, but declines over time variably by the condition that the patient was initially hospitalized with and the outcome of interest. So specifically, the risk of death declines relatively rapidly after hospital discharge, while the risk of being readmitted to the hospital declines much more slowly. For example, for a patient that was hospitalized with heart failure, it takes about 11 days for the risk of death to decline by 50%. When it comes to readmission, it takes almost 40 days for the risk of readmission to decline by 50%. In addition, we found that the risk trajectories were very different for patients who are hospitalized with heart failure, MI, and pneumonia. For patients hospitalized with heart failure, risk was prolonged for a much longer period of time than for patients hospitalized with a heart attack. Our second major finding was that within approximately seven weeks of hospital discharge, risks seem to level out, which means that for a patient who's hospitalized and discharged and doesn't die and doesn't end up back in the hospital for about seven weeks, they seem to have reached a new stage in their recovery where they're much less likely to have another recurrent illness and end up back in a hospital or dying. And the third thing we found is that for patients who are recently hospitalized, their risk of ending back in a hospital or dying is higher than the general older population for the full year after discharge. So for someone who's hospitalized, their risk of a major event ending up back in the hospital or dying never reaches that of a group of patients that's not been hospitalized. We showed that the risk of readmission and death is elevated for an extended time after hospital discharge. For patients, they need to be very proactive about monitoring their health for an extended time after hospitalization because they remain at risk for major events, not just in the period right after hospital discharge. For hospitals, they need to start thinking about more rationally targeting the care they provide to match patients' risk and how they dynamically change on a day-to-day -day basis after hospitalization so they can most efficiently maximize the resources at their disposal.